Hi, this is Nikki Woods, and we are going beyond the studio on BlackAmericaWeb.com with Pastor <laughs> Marvin Sapp. His latest CD is entitled "Here I Am," and here you are. Here I am. Here, here you is. It, on these these seats are comfortable. I know everybody says that. I love these seats. Yeah, but I can't recline. Oh, oh man, God. I could recline. <laughs> I don't on think these everybody has ever reclined. Oh my God, I'm gonna chill like you, this. Yeah, you put that back before time gets you. <laughs> <laughs> so this this is in stores now, right? It's in stores, yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. I mean, obviously, you know, everybody knows who you are. Well, I don't know uh, if they know who I am. I'm, you I know, think they know who lot, you are. A lot of people know, and but it's 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 it's. Uh, I think I tell people it's it's thirsty on steroids. I guess it's um, just me trying to make sure that I didn't alienate my listening base and trying to give them more music that you know I believe would be a great blessing to them. Well, you were here for a live in studio jam in the in the rev, red velvet cake, and one of the songs that you sang were the best. The was best, the best in, in yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And I think everybody was like, "Wow," <laughs> you know, because everybody goes through that, and yeah. I think that they don't realize that that even pastors uh, and people that have been blessed to to have such success as you have go through things. Well, I mean, I think one of the major challenges is is you know when I wrote the song, I actually was dealing with um, the whole you know, feeling as if I needed to be a, approved or validated by people. And it's not that we don't need people in our lives and we don't need validation from people, but I think when we allow ourselves to be defined by people's opinions and concepts and ideas of who we are supposed to be, you know, then and only then will we, you know, we begin to feel bad about who we are. But when we allow the one that created us to define us, you know, we, we end up being good. <laughs> you all leave. I know, this is <laughs> funny. <you know? laughs> I want one of these at the crib. <laughs> And this, you know, Southwest don't have first class seats. Well, they did when, t and, well, when and this is American. They oh, did when American? Tom was flying oh. back and forth. These are the actual seats that he flew in when he was going between Dallas and Chicago. Him. These are comfortable. Yeah. I don't blame him. They're I, real comfortable. They'd have to give me my seats too. So tell me, we're in the middle of uh, Take a Loved One to the Doctor yes. Day season, and a lot of the, the entertainers and the celebrities and the high profile people that we have coming through talk about their own health challenges. Like mm -hmm. we had Charlie Wilson talk about his. His, uh, his bout with prostate cancer, and mm -hmm. Tony Braxton talked about her heart uh, disease. Um, but you were dealing with your wife yeah. and some of her health challenges. Yeah. How was that a, as kind of the support of the loved one? Well, I mean, it's, 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 it's difficult, but at the same token, you, you still have to be strong. My wife is, has been fighting and dealing with cancer for about a year now and uh, still taking chemotherapy. But, I mean, things are good. I mean, she's getting better. And um, but it, but it's an emotional thing because when you have young children and, uh, you know, you're young, you know, we're in our 40s, early 40s, you know, and when you hear the word cancer immediately, you immediately that fear comes in. But being people of faith, you know, we got to stand firm on what the word of God says. And uh, it's it's been it's been trying. I, I'm not going to tell you that I haven't cried, you know, some days and, and really ask God some crazy questions and even in my prayers, I was like, when when she first got diagnosed, I was like, okay, God, you can't you can't take her now because I don't know how to do hair, you know, just simple things, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know. I was yeah. thinking about my daughters yeah. and, and stuff like that. So I mean, but you know, I'm glad that you know we took her, they found it, and uh, you know she's finding it and she's going to win. So we're excited. Yeah, and that's what we we promote. I mean, not only you know once you find out something mm -hmm. to be pro, uh, you know to to stay on top of it, but to be proactive without question and get those tests that all the men don't want to get. Yeah, and all of that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, when I had my first invasion, <laughs> for the sake of a better word, <laughs> uh, it it was it was uncomfortable. And most men, you know, have a, you know, if you're a real man, you have a real fear of, you know, people violating you in that type of way. However. Um, you so know, what's the bigger fear? The is bigger it that fear, or getting prostate cancer. Yeah, the bigger fear is not being checked. So yeah. I mean, I tell every brother, you know, when you turn forty, go to the doctor and let him do what he needs to do, so that um, you can remain healthy. All right, back to the CD. Here I am. Tell me, tell me what's different about this. I know that you said you wanted to continue to to please your core audience right. and the people that supported Thirsty, right. but what did you do differently? I think what's different about this CD, other uh, different from Thirsty is that this one is more centered at um, empowering uh, individuals. Uh, Thirsty was, was more worship oriented. This one's worship oriented, but it also deals with empowering people. Songs on there like Comfort Zone, challenging you to come out of your comfort zone. Uh, don't count me out. Um, uh, just, just songs, you know, wait. Um, so this song, these, this CD is more 
about encouraging the individual believer to really press on and uh, to fight for what uh, matters and what's most important. That is, you know, finding your destiny and your purpose and maintaining and establishing a solid relationship with, with the God of your salvation. And how soon did you know what your destiny and your purpose was going to be? How old were you? Like two? You know, when I started singing at four, so I've been doing this for like 39 years, and I really didn't realize that this was going to be my lifelong um, journey, if you will, until I was like 22. So I, you know. So there was nothing else on the radar that you wanted to do? You yeah. Know, pro football player? What, nope. what was it that, what was the, <laughs> nothing else? You didn't want to be a lawyer? I did want to be something else. But what? You're not going to tell me? Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, tell I me. actually, I, you know, I had I had the options. I was your, in, music, your music director's like, don't tell me. <laughs> it's the like, truth. It's the, I was going to be a teacher or a cosmetologist. That's the truth. I thought it was sexy for a real <laughs> man to do hair. <laughs> It you was know, sexy for, for a real man, to, for do a real man to do hair because I, you know, oh. you see so many, you know, other guys doing you hair. You should listen to you next time. And, right. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was really <laughs> sexy for a real man to do hair. And my one of my cousins who was a real man, he owned his own shop, and I would go in and I would wash the women's hair and stuff like that. So I wanted to be a cosmetologist because I would see all the women he was with. You, you could take care of that at home. Yeah, you but be you a know, real man that was that was that was before you know <laughs> that was before Christ. Let me say that you know since Christ things have changed, but I, I then I wanted to be a teacher too. I really mm -hmm. wanted to try to shape the minds of kids. And uh, what ended up happening was is I'm still a teacher, but I teach from the pulpit, and, but I don't do hair. So hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the CD is here. I am. It's Pastor Pastor Marvin Sapp. The CD is in stores, and the in studio buy jam. It, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. And the in studio jam. Uh, with Pastor Sapp is up on blackamericaweb.com. I'm Nikki Woods, and we have gone beyond the studio, and you are watching Marvin Sapp, Pastor Marvin Sapp on blackamericaweb.com.